What's up, Indie Game fans? Welcome back to Zen Tentacles Gaming. Today, I have a special one for you. We're talking about Panzer Paladin. My first video, we played Flinthook, and this game is from the same studio, and it released in 2020. Now, Panzer Paladin has an interesting gimmick going for it. It's very reminiscent and set up and arcade style of the old Mega Man games, especially on Nintendo and Super Nintendo. Now, it is an arcade platformer, but what it differs in is it has the Mega Man setup where you go through themed levels based on the boss at the end of it. So each level is very diverse and it has kind of that blown up pixel art style that was reminiscent of Game Boy Color. So it's, I don't know, it's unique in that it knows what it is, what its personality is. And today, uh, I'm going to run through the first level. I'm not that great at it, but it's a lot of fun and we're going to run through the first level and possibly the second level if I don't fuck up too bad. Other than that, I hope you're ready for it and let's have some fun. All right, let's jump into it, shall we? So, Panzer Paladin, look at this art style. The opening menu, very reminiscent of the 90s and that kind of mech suit, metallic look, and I'm a fan of it. Now, I've already got about 20 minutes into the game, so not too much, not too far. But we have a story section, blacksmith section, which is interesting. The blacksmith section lets you create custom weapons for the game, and I'll explain the mechanics of that here in a second once we start the level. Also, the speedrun challenge, Challenge mode, which that's the special one where it's all about can you fucking get through it and the mystery mode, which I have not unlocked yet So we'll go ahead and do story which they have a classic and remixed version where they redo the levels kind of like a mirror mode Very fun extra that you can do since this game does have high replayability All right, so this is what I mean by the Mega Man aesthetic Each one is based on kind of a fairy tale or mythic creature from the native land so, for instance, we have Lilith, which is based on a demon succubus from the USA, Hardy R. Har. And we have the Horseman from Canada, which, you know, anyways, I'm not that proficient in it. But you can definitely tell that they... Okay, here we go, here we go. Gashi de Koro. I think that's how you say it from Japan. That's a demon. You get it. So, we're gonna go for the main level. It starts us off in, which is the USA, USA, USA. And I'm gonna show you what's going on. So, the main theme of this is, instead of Mega Man where you're a shooter, you have a mech robot piloted by this really badass woman who can also get out of the mech at any time. So you come down on the handcrafted level, you, get, you can move, jump, and you can attack. The other gimmick is, is you can gather different weapons, and you can throw the weapons for a buff or power-up. Up in the top right corner, you'll see the weapon inside what looks like a bullseye, with a spell, it says spell, small heal. So if I throw it and it hits an enemy, it will heal me for a little bit of health. I've learned though, it does not apply to the mech robot because you can also get out of the mech robot and just play as a character. She has a whip and she can kind of grab onto hooks. Now you can get back in the robot anytime and respawn them from different checkpoints. But let's go in and go through it, shall we? You do have all directional attacks, which does help for combos. You do have a little shield to make it a little bit easier, but really, it's just so fluid in the way it, in the way it moves, it knows the identity it has, and it still feels old school while feeling updated. I love the mixture. Damn. As you can see, I do uh, make a lot of mistakes, but I will survive, I will succeed, I'm looking to fail. Now, just another instance, I now have, and just so you can see the menu here, I now have the Halberd. It has a durability, each weapon does have a durability to it, so 100 to 0. We're already at 76, but it has a burden of 126, this one has a burden of 150, which is the sharpness of it. If you notice, it has a type, which is cut, cut, damage 32, damage 32, but the Officer Sword offers a heal. Whereas this offers a blessing, which I'm not sure what that is because I haven't had it. But it is the unique gimmick to the game, and I'm very much a fan of it. Fuck you, frog. Hmm, both of them. Gathering up some more. You want some of this? Oh, he burned me. He got burned. Yeah, today! I don't think so, Toadstool. And one for your friend, too. Damn. 
We're slowly closing in on the second area. So I will say in Mega Man fashion, these levels are not short. Uh, which I'm a fan of. It lets you actually explore the artwork they actually put into this, the amount of detail. I mean, first off, let's just go ahead and appreciate this real quick. Got graffiti on the wall here. It looks like a suburb. Got high rises right behind us. Buses, cabs, changing streetlights. It feels like the city. And it has a great vibe to it. I kind of, I'm digging the kind of architecture right below my feet, which are gigantic building blocks. It fits. All right, we're gonna have to throw this. Take that. Got a blessing. I don't know what it did, but it did something. Going down in the sewers. This is Wallace. I refuse to fight him because I just don't know what to do about him. Oh, I'm blowing up weapons. Now, I have learned you can only carry four weapons at a time in your immediate inventory. However, you do have room to kind of carry more and you use these weapons, which you will keep them if you don't discard them after the round. You can use these weapons to upgrade the Mechrobot. Which so far, the only upgrades I've gotten... Uh, oh, my Mechrobot died. Now I'm stuck. Now I gotta fight with her. Anyways, you can use the weapons that you still have after a level to basically smelt them, melt them down, and use them as resources to upgrade the Mechrobot's health. Oh, I can recharge under there. Interesting. I haven't seen that. I'm gonna die first, don't you worry about that. Oh, I forgot I'm not that strong. Oh god, I'm gonna die. It's gonna happen. Robot! Son of a bitch. Well, I don't have a weapon, so you know. You couldn't tell from the menu we were at, this is a boss from a future level. And he gave me a weapon that I can't have because my mech is gone. So I'll just go fuck myself. Fuck with you, frog. Don't have a body right now. I'm SOL. I just got pooped on. I think so. I'm too tiny for you. What's up? I'll fuck all of you up. And that's the end of my life. So, unless we got a checkpoint, which you need the mech robot for, because you have to sacrifice a weapon to gather the checkpoint, it all means nothing. God, I'm so sorry I suck at this. <laughs> oh, I'm trying my hardest. It's not easy. Fuck you. Hmm. My greed knows no bound. I'm talking about. Well, as you can see, I'm killing it. Oh. So, I have learned that the heal only works with the human, not the mech robot, as I said earlier. Now, when you run out of weapons, what I like is, well, you just get Fist of Fury. Nothing but rage. I want to fuck these toads up with that rage. That's what I'm talking about. They got nothing on my mech robot. They got enough to fuck me up. Jesus. 
so sorry about the embarrassment that is my gameplay. <laughs> Well, shit. I'll get better. <laughs> I promise. I won't. I will die. <laughs> oh god, let's try again. I don't even have a weapon! Fuck you. Everything's going swell right now. I mean, for how long, but... He's still got my health. I've got my youth. I'm losing all of it. Bring it on. Bring it on. Bring it on. Hop on over here. You feeling froggy? Jump! Right. I'll fight you, Ted. No, I won't. Out of here. Fuck it. I need my health. Oh my god. Not gonna have any health. USA. USA! What I'm talking about. Damn it. Alright, I just gotta make it to the checkpoint. That's all it's about now. I made it to the checkpoint. All right, so at the checkpoint, God, look at that thrust. Get it in there, and now we're ready to go. And my pumpkin weapon's still here. What's uh, what's it give me? Medium heal. I like that. Right now, uh, let's get our defense up. This one's about to die anyway. need that defense up, it's very important. I'm a man who has a lot of pain coming his way at all times like that! Oh, good lord. Well, you know, I made it this far, right? I'm out of here. On real downtown. Look at all these swords I could not have. Think you mean anything slick? I'm talking about. All of you mean nothing! So, it's interesting. If you do get to this part, and I have had it happen before, 
this is a certain area where you cannot use the Mechro bike because you can't climb this wall. There is no uh, wall jump or anything. So you have to get out and climb the little ladders and go well the long way. That's alright, because it does force you to get used to uh, playing as her, which she's actually a lot of fun due to the, her speed. Alright, what's up, John? You don't want none of this? I'll hit you right in the head. I'll hit you right in the shins again. Just let me have it. Get back over here. That's right. Taught him what's what. That's with me, you get hit in the shins. That's my style. Oh, goody. What's up? What's up? Alright, we're actually, uh... We're doing pretty good here. Alright, here is where the hook swinging comes in, which I'm a huge fan of that they did. What was that? I've never actually hit that. That was an accident. You piece of shit. Can I get a robot? Yeah! Now it's game time. I don't care about you. Get over here, frog. Slice and dice. The respect. What is with this monkey boy? <laughs> uh, how do I hit him? I gotta hit him right below the belt. Oh, he's strong! Jesus! It took all my might just to feel pathetic like that. Alright, well how far can we go, right? <laughs> okay. Well, I think this is going well. I would like it to go better. Oh, there. Oh, I'm getting pooped on. Hey. I need a new weapon. Oh, it's time now. What's up? What's up? Uh. Ethan, stop what time I'm all about. Uh, fuck you. Just getting beat up at all times. This doesn't stop. I want that pipe though. I want that pipe, but I don't have to lose my self-respect to get it. That durability up. Not happening. Alright. So, normally if we get to this part, as I told you, we're gonna have to lose the suit because he cannot climb. Nothing to do about it. So we out. The good news is, whenever you pick your paladin up again, they automatically solve all the weapons captured from before. Which you would think, oh well, should that happen naturally? Well, as we all know from playing indie games, it does not always happen at so it's a nice little feature that I'm very happy they committed to. It makes the gameplay much more seamless due to the fact it's already hard as fuck.
HD. He's still alive? Fuck yeah, he is. I never tried to face him head on. That's what I thought, motherfucker. Well, now I know how to do that. Oh, I blew it. I'm talking about. Now, one feature that's also interesting is if you haven't lost your paladin, well, they come back with the same amount of health that you had. Which, you know, it's alright. I feel like you're better whooped with, uh... Yeah! Whoop that monkey boy like it was nothing. Ow, he whooped me like it was nothing. Fuck you. There we go. Alright, I've never actually made it this far, ladies and gentlemen. This is, uh, big news. We have a whole nother checkpoint. That's why we have a checkpoint. It doesn't even matter. I don't even get to return after this. You guys ready for this shit? Because this will not end well. I've not faced the boss before, but it seems like... Oh, okay. Oh, I found her. I'm gonna run. Well, that was good. That's not good. I don't even know what to do about that. Get away from me. I don't have my friend with me. I'm just getting shit whipped out of me. She's way up in the air. Oh, I found you. I found you, bitch. Oh, it doesn't even matter. Am I even hurting you? This is what's upsetting now. I don't even feel like anything's happening. Well, it doesn't even matter. As you hear by that music, it's game over. We... We did our job. Um... Yeah, I think, uh... I think that's a good enough idea for you to get the rough version of what's going on here right right am i good on that well that's gonna do it definitely check out panzer paladin you can find it on discount a lot of places it was just on discount in the steam sale but if this is something that you're interested in if you're a fan of the mega man series if you're a fan of platforming in general especially reminiscent of the game boy color days this game has very tight gameplay, it knows what it is, it knows what it's doing, and has a ton of enjoyment and creativity behind it. So, if you're into it, I definitely recommend checking it out. Other than that, uh, thanks for joining me. And remember, like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. I'm going to keep putting out more of it. So, uh, I'll catch you next one.